arrogance, your ego, your vain glory. We need to humble ourselves and see that God, he is the great one. He's the wonderful one. He's the beautiful one. Jesus Christ, he is God. He is the great I am. Will you bow to him today? Will you turn to him today and surrender? Will you repent and think differently about God? See his character, his personality. See that he must render to you. And the only way to escape is through repentance. Faith. Faith where God takes that wicked heart of unbelief, that heart of sin, that heart of selfishness. He takes that heart that is wicked. Oh, he gives you a new heart. He does a miracle. He can change you right now. Oh, he can put you back in your rightful place in your rightful condition because of what Christ has accomplished through the atonement, through the cross, through the blood, through the offering. Jesus Christ, who said there's salvation and no one else. Salvation from what? The punishment of sin. You've sinned against God. You've sinned against God. Does that not concern you? You've sinned against Christ. Are you not concerned? Are you blinded by the God of this world? Are you walking with the devil? Are you serving the devil? Are you under the slave of Lucifer? Are you in humility, broken, contrite, trembling at his word, saying, God, I am undone. I'm unclean. I need your mercies today. I need your grace today. I need your favor today. God, I need your peace today. I need your joy today. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We come before God in dependence. We're dependent upon him. We're asking him to give us wisdom. We're asking him to give us the provision we need to make it through the day. Oh, we work out our salvation in fear and trembling on our knees, calling out to Christ, asking Jesus Christ to do this work that we cannot do. People, your problem, the problem with mankind, human nature, is pride. As if you're better than God, kinder than God, your ways, your ways are better than God's ways. No, His ways, His way. Do you understand your way leads to death? Your way leads to eternal damnation. Your way, when you go your way, living your own selfish, self-centered life. I'm concerned. No, I can't. I can't, man. I am so stirred up inside. I see the multitudes all around me. I see the devil has brought deception. I see the blindness. Do you not see the multitudes out here? Do you not see? If your eyes, I know the terror of the Lord. I know the terror of the Lord. I try to persuade men away. I see the terror. It's a terrifying thing to fall in the hands of the living God. It's a fearful thing. He is holy and we are undone. He is great and we are, we are nothingness. We have nothing to offer God. We can do nothing. We lose self-control. We have outbursts of anger. We lie. We covet. Oh, our emotions are up and down. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. Oh, yeah, you're just like that Walt Disney movie, Inside Out. Oh, I tell you, you live on emotions. You live on emotions. Christmas is about emotion. You remember your, in the past when it was so good and you felt loved. Oh, it's sad. You live on the thrill. You live on the excitement. You live on the, the cinnamon smell. You, you, live on, you live on stuff that is not real. I live in the living God, Jesus Christ. He fulfills. He, he, he satisfies. You know what satisfaction is? I mean, have you ever thought about it? What is it that you're looking for? What is it? A new car? A new iPhone? What? Uh, another movie? I mean, what are you looking for? What is the meaning of life? What is it all about? Another Jack Daniels? Uh, what, what is it about? To catch a buzz tonight at happy, happy hour at 4 o'clock? What is it all about? Oh, it's sad. It's sad you don't know the meaning, the purpose, what God had designed, what God delighted in, what God wanted. His will. Oh, I cry out. I cry out because Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the mark of the beast, the chip, the chip that you just put on your credit card. It is near, people. You are already given over to a strong delusion. It's near. Near is the great day of the Lord. Near and coming very quickly. And it is people cry out against that day. I'm crying out against the day. 
the day of the Lord, the big D, when Jesus Christ breaks through. And you see him face to face. You're not going to stand there and believe then. It's too late, people. It's too late. You're going to fall on your knees and you're going to confess Jesus Christ as Lord right when he casts you in the lake of fire. Right when he throws you in eternal damnation. Right when you're burning forever. You're burning. You're still empty. You're still empty. You still have nothing. Do you, do you understand the seriousness of your rebellion against God, your disobedience? Do you understand your sin will find you out? Did you understand if you do not repent and cast your sin upon Christ, who knew no sin to be sin for us, if you look to Jesus Christ, the substitute for our sin, oh, he can deliver you from the demons that are in you. The torment. They torment some of you now. But today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Today, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the God-man, Jesus Christ arose from the dead, Jesus Christ promises heaven, heaven, a new heaven, new earth. All things are going to be new. All of creation cries out for the sons of men to be revealed. The curse upon the earth. There's a curse on men. And you're walking in it. Without Jesus Christ, you will perish in hell. Without Jesus Christ, you will burn forever in hell. Does anybody care? Oh, I tell you, gross darkness is covering the earth. Do you not see the gross darkness? Do you not see the love of many growing cold? Do you not see the hatred in the hearts? Do you not see the bad attitudes? I see the bad attitudes every day, man. Dog eat dog world. No one cares about you. Who cares? Everyone cares about me, I, mine. Praise God. There's one that's a believer. Hey, do we have any believers? Any born again Christians? There's one. There's one. God bless you. There's two right here. Oh, there's one right there. Hey, you're with me. That's not counting. <laughs> Oh, hey, God bless you too, man. Hey, if you confess me before man, I will confess you before my Father and all the angels in heaven. You know there's a... Are you a believer too? Rapture is coming, tell them. Yeah, he's coming, man, Jesus. Rapture is coming pretty soon. No, oh, Jesus. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. It says that he will return with his mighty angels, his holy angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on all those who know not God and all those who do not obey the gospel. Jesus Christ, he's going to bust through the sky. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be spectacular. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be awesome. When we see him, oh, come quickly. I say Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus. That's what Maranatha means. Maranatha, come quickly. Don't you want Jesus to come back quickly? I don't want to celebrate another pagan holiday. I don't want to celebrate another pagan holiday around a Christmas tree. I don't want to celebrate another new year. I want Jesus to bust through and make all things new. Oh, he's going to destroy the Muslim. He's going to destroy. He's going to destroy his Islam. Oh, he's going to destroy the wicked. Oh, yeah, God's going to lay it out. Called the great day of the Lord. Are you ready? The day of the Lord will burn like an oven. The proud and the arrogant will be burned up like stubble. The day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is coming. And it, and it, and it's, and it comes with a, with a whirlwind. Oh, and he's going to come. And he's going to render his fury with fire. His rebukes with flames of fire. Yep. Upon the wicked, upon the sinner. You understand the sinner. The day of the Lord is cruel with both wrath and fierce judgment to lay open the sinner, to destroy the sinner therein. You're the sinner therein. Therein what? His creation. God created. You have walked over his creation in your selfishness and pride. Woman, have you looked at your continents? That's a proud look. Did you see that? Did you see that proud look? You know what a proud look is? God. Six things the Lord hates. Seven are abomination. You know what one of them are? It's a proud look. Oh, I have a proud look. Stand before God in your arrogance, your self-will, your vainglory. 
thinking much of yourself as if you're going to enter into heaven because you deserve it, you earned it, and your righteousness. Oh, it's not going to be good, people. Not be good, man. Maybe you've never seen anyone who believes the Bible, who knows there's going to be hell fire for the wicked, hell fire for the disobedient. God is the one. It says, don't fear him who's able to kill your body, but rather fear him who's able to kill both soul and body in hell. You fear God? I don't fear the, the thug standing on the side of the street. I, I don't fear ISIS. Come on, I fear God. And angels surround those who fear the Lord. A myriad. A cloud of witnesses. Do you have eyes to see? Are you walking with Jesus? Are you just numb? Are you just going through another day? You're living. You're living for time. There's no hope in time. There's no hope in time because today is the day of salvation. There's no hope in time. You're just not going to be better tomorrow. And not going to be better at Christmas time. And not going to be better next year. Oh, there's no hope in time. You're living in sin. And today, you must repent. You must repent and believe and call upon Him. You must turn from your ungodly lifestyle, your ungodly habits. You must call upon Jesus Christ as I do. I call upon Him and ask Him to change me. Change me, God. I don't want to fall into deception. I don't want to fall into the trap. Satan has come to destroy you. How does he destroy you? He keeps you from Jesus. All Satan has to do is keep you from Jesus. And he'll destroy you. How will he destroy you? Oh, he'll rip you off, buddy. You start doing marijuana, and then you start doing heroin, and all of a sudden, man, you don't know. You don't know. I tell you. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, it's sad. You've been deceived. I'm repenting, brother. I'm saved. I'm repenting. Good. Every second. I beg God now. I'm begging. Oh, I do too. I don't even pray anymore. I beg. I beg too, man. I'm serious about that. Every day, man, I see myself. Man, if I don't have Jesus, it's over. I can't make it another day without Jesus. I beg him, God. You need to do a work. You need to do a work. I can't do it. I'm empty. I have nothing. I'm empty. My flesh is no good. Everything in me is no good. I want to walk in the Spirit. I want to abide in the Spirit. I want to be in you. I want to be found in you. I don't want to be found in my own righteousness. I want to be found in your righteousness. I need you. I beg you. God, do a work. I boast in you. I love you. I want to love you more, and I can't. I can't do it. The flesh can do nothing. It's the spirit that gives life. Give me more spirit. Give me more life. Give me more joy. Give me more peace. Give me more sad. Give me you. I want only you. Is that your heart cry? It's got to be a hard cry, man. That's why Islam, Islam will never give you that. Because Allah will never give you the spirit. Allah will never satisfy your soul. The only one that satisfies is him. I pray.